Guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got Godsey Kenari here. The reason why you should go for it this weekend as a guaranteed champion for 25 voids. She's great in Hydra. She's great in uh, Clambos. We've got a 2 key and a solid 1 key with two different comps. Lots of choices to replace these champions if needed. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so I've got two comps, really. Um, one is Gibby's with Sam. He's the one key. we got five epics, one legendary. The legendary being Brogni and the Priest. He can be replaced, but I'm going to get into that in later on in the video. Um, I do recommend you don't skip anything because I'm going to go through lots of tips and tricks and then we're going to go through the runs as well. So the first team I want to speak about is my one key team. Now, this was a long day yesterday. I spent a lot of time, but this was the one key and hard. Um, I'm going to go through it all and try and explain it to you. Okay, so the first one is going to be Geomancer. So Geomancer is the only champion in this comp that can't really be replaced with this type of setup. The second one is going to be uh, Godseeker and Ori. So any, uh, she can be replaced. She can be replaced with a Krisk, who is a better version. Um, Godseeker is probably a hash two. And then there's a few champions like Sandlash Survivor and a few others who can extend the buffs. That's what her job is for. Brogni is in here for a little bit extra passive and support um, with his passive shields and block buffs. And Godseek and Ori is very good for that. Uh, and then we've got Manum series, who's your AWE attack down. Again, she can be replaced with um, Tayrell, because he has A attack down on the A1 and the AWE defense down. I don't think you need AWE defense down this comp. I just took it as she strips and it was a backup to Umbro chances. So I did like her kit. She can also remove debuffs on the A2, just a small percentage to remove the random debuff from them as well. And it's another AOE. She does have Warmaster, so I got a little bit of damage from her. Um, and then secondly, I just, yeah, I kind of like the AOE attack down and the strip. It was just a bit of safety, but yeah. And there's also uh, Aox as well. Aox, remember, you could use his attack down on the E3, I believe. Umbro can replace with any block debuff champion, but I do feel that she is the best at the moment for this rotation. So I do like Umbro Chances, she's one of my first epics on my account, so I do like her. Now Under Priest can be replaced with a few champions, mainly Valkyrie with shields, anyone with big shields really that helps with survivability. And then Sam Inquisitor can be replaced with anyone that has Veils, so the Fusion, um, the Fusion, Rich Draft, Duchess is like the higher upgrade one. Um, anyone that can put up a Veils basically, or maybe even a Doom Priest with the AoE cleanse, but I think you'd only use Team Priest if she was like the last choice you had on your account. Um, so I'm going to show you all the builds. I am going to go into Team 2 quickly because this is the one key. If you don't have Samuel, then I have alternatives for you. Um, I'm going to go over the clip from the video. Bear me a second. Let me find it. I did have it open. There it is. So I'm just going to turn this off for a second. We don't want to hear the sound. Uh, we do have this just in here. You can see that Marta is in here. Marta's the attack down, but again, you can kind of come in with Man Series. And we always try and out counter attack to see if we get a bit more damage. But really, you want Red Draft to go first, Brogni to go second, and then uh, Godseek and Ori coming in with the uh, extensions and plus heal. So we like this. I'm just going to go through all this. I will put this in the video as well. Uh, the run into this but I'm just going to show you the damage potential of this team okay so I quit this a turn 37 uh, as you can see it's a solid uh, 2 key um, I did you do need good RNG to get the 1 key with this team but I do feel if you had the patience for it and stuff like that you could get the 1 key um, but we had the head of Decay, and Decay is like the worst one that we want with this this team setup, right? Because he does AoE cleanse. We can deal with Mischief with Umbro, and yeah, like the head of Decay. If you see head of Decay, you, oh, my recommendations is start again, and it's meant to be a lower chance of getting him in, in, in hard. That's why we're using a Geomancer comp um, here. But you can see the damage potential, etc. And I'm gonna go through all the builds. Um, I don't actually think I'm gonna include this in the video because I don't want it to be too long. But you can kind of see the da um, the damage potential, and you can see the Rex Draft is a replacement. Um, you can replace Rich Draft with the Fusion from uh, Christmas. 
um, because you have a reviver and you do want a reviver and that's Godseeker the Nero. So she also brings you that revive on the A3 and the passive. So she kind of brings you everything that you need for this team. Um, I'm not going to go into that too much. So we're going to go into the builds. I'm also going to include Wretched Draft in this build as well. Now, I don't think you need the speeds that I've got on this team. Um, I was mainly kind of keeping in mind Brutal and uh, Nightmare for myself. Uh, refresh is quite nice for Hydra, just in general, because we're going to get the um, the healing, right? Coming back on A2, and you do need that healing. A uh, Richard Draft also brings you healing as well. So, um, yeah, we've got HP Ring, HP Amulet. Um, I didn't really worry about re uh, resistance. If you could build resistance into this team, it'd be a lot better. But Mischief can still take the bus, but as long as you put them up down block buffs you don't need him to worry about putting on itself and spreading it right so i didn't worry about resistance uh i pretty much went with war master on everyone for a bit more damage but as you can see just hp hp and then good speed along the top so she i want is the third fastest in this comp right just mainly with the retro draft comp uh umbro who was used this was to be used in both teams as well same as godsey canary good stats as quite support i'm just looking for good accuracy good speeds you could actually build more HP into her, just for more survivability in all honesty. Uh, Master Hex is really important for the A2. Make sure we're not using the A3 at all for Umbro. And then we're coming down for War Master for damage there. Um, again, just basic stuff. Precision sets, etc. HP and stuff like that. I'm not too sure when, when I went with critical damage here in all honesty because I wasn't building for damage. So again, you could go with more. I think it was just because it's kind of it's sitting around on my account and we are just equipped in a way. And the build worked, so I didn't change it. Uh, so we're going to go with the Wretched Draft build as well. So I just made a fast and tanky. I don't think you need a resistance. We have good speed. We have good HP. Again, more HP would be better. More defense would be better. Good, more resistance and more accuracy as well. She does bring A1 down on that. She does bring attack down on A1. Now, it's really important if you're not using uh, the Samuel comp not to take uh, deterrence or retribution you don't want to counter attack because you will then get the fear from the torment right so again we go with the hexer for the a1 uh, you don't think you need the hexer but i always mainly going with the war master for the attack down sorry for the damage right obviously she also brings revive and veils that's what she brings you we're going to go into the next champion which is going to be um geomancer don't really build it for damage just build it for survivability um, and War Master here, and then Cycle of Violence really important. Has a uh, chance of turning down a, a, a cooldown on the A3. And if you don't use the A2 at all, then you'll get that on that. Right? I went for Hexa because of the HP burn to extend it for the four turns instead of three for the A3. Now I went with Relentless. Now I do feel with Relentless, it's better with the Samuel with the Samuel comp. This is the same build I use with the Retro Draft comp. I feel if you use the Retro Draft comp. You don't want to go with the um you don't want to come in with that uh, relentless proc right and getting a tree fear on yourself so how did i build him then i did go with some refresh as well uh just accuracy hp and hp and then again i worried about hp hp and hp speed etc now do you think he needs to be as fast i haven't really worked on a speed tuning for this team but I don't feel you need him this fast. Um, I feel if you're going up against uh, Brutal and um, Brutal and Nightmare, then most likely. But for hard, I don't feel you need as fast. I think like 220 speed is quite a good speed, and I think that's the same for all these champions as well. 230 minimum um, for extra draft, and then coming all the way down. So who else we got? We got my man Sirius as well, who I went with um, with a regen set. Man series can be a little bit of a glass cannon, so I did build her a good HP for that shield that she puts on herself. Good speed as well. I mean, he could put more defense into her. Again, I went with the Master Haxa and War Master, just because I feel it was a bit more uh, utility. So we've gone through everyone. Okay, so let's go through the Master build quickly. Uh, if you have Skull Crusher, you can use Skull Crusher, but you need to make sure you bring Attack Down Champion. Uh, War Master is very nice. Again, Cycle of Violence is very nice, and the hexa there as well i did take sniper for the a1 because she also brings defense down on the a1 um martyrs not need a fist comp you can use any attack down champion in martyr's place 
She brings me the increased defense. I wanted to test her out what she could do. I did prefer the Samuel comp because it was less RNG a little bit. Um, but yeah, like you, you, in both these comps, you don't want to see Head of Decay. You see Head of Decay, it's going to get very difficult then. Let's go into my Brogni build then and let's explain the Brogni builds. So the Brogni build, I went with Damage and with Giant Slayer. And then again, come on with the Master Hexer. Uh, Master Hex is not really needed in all honesty because he only puts up the HP burn here and it, Geo is going to do that basically for you. But I did go with damage, right? So I did make him fast. I built reasonable good attack. I built him with reasonable HP. Defense as well. Good speed. Critical rate. Critical damage. I didn't really worry about accuracy. You could use accuracy for the A2 if you wanted. Uh, but I didn't really worry about that. I just went with damage. Um, and then the healing and for the passive. So when he puts his shields up, God of really extends it. And then he puts bigger shields up with the, the damage when it grows, right? How did I build him? We went with attack, critical damage, and then HP. Um, I didn't want his HP to be too low, so yeah. And then attack, critical damage, gloves. If you don't have critical damage, go critical rate. And then if you want to go more survivability, you could also try it. If you want to go more survivability and just build them with less critical damage and more HP. Um, so yeah, that's all the champions done. I uh, went out with a few uh, replacements. Uh, uh, this is a solid two key. Um, if you're struggling on gear, it's a solid three key. Um, oh, I didn't go into Samuel build as well. Let me just go into Samuel build. So Samuel build is going to be the one we show. For the run as well. And... Let's go into his build. So, uh, just worried about the Toxic set as usual. I did come in with uh, Warmaster for the A1. And then I just kind of left this on, but that wasn't really needed to know RSD. And then I want to talk about placement, right? I want to talk about placement. So for Geo, when you're using Geo in Hydra, you do need them first. Because you want him to get much turn meter as possible. And that's with the Samuel comp, right? Just talking about the Samuel comp. Let me get it up. Yeah, so here. Uh, you want Geo first, and then I went with Sandlass second because she's a reviver slash healer. You could put Brogni here or Retro Draft, whoever. I wouldn't use Retro Draft and Sam, by the way. I'd only use one or the other. Retro Draft is like the next one down from Samuel. And as you can see, there's a few Geo comps along my clan where we're taking them hard. So we're going to try to take down hard and brutal this, this one. And I feel like we're quite confident getting her. Um, so yeah, pretty solid team. Let's get into the run. I am going to mute the... Um, the sound in and it's gonna be up in two times speed but you can slow this down and pause it and i would also add chapters into this as well so let's get into it then
Okay, so again, I'm just going to go over the replacements in this comp with this team and I'm going to break it down more. Geo's the only one that can't be replaced. For the Winky team, you will need the Samuel. And I do feel the other team can also win key if you have perfect RNG, and that means the head of decay doesn't come up at all. We also need to bear in mind this is a survivability comp, not a high damage comp with like a Royal Guards and Husk and stuff like that. So we're going to talk about replacements quickly. If I miss anyone down, uh, anyone within these type of replacements, please let me down know in comments down below and also let me out on your ideas with this comp i do feel that this is a solid comp at the moment there's a lot of rng within this comp um but yeah let's get into it so god see Kanori can be replaced with obviously the highest the best version would be krisk who is in my main team i only have one krisk I, I can't really show that off uh god see Kanori for me is number two and then you got sandlash survivor at number three i can't really think with anyone else off the top of my head um, but there is a couple replacements as well. So we mainly use using Madam for the attack down, right? But she does bring that strip as well, which I personally myself, I like. But the, the other options you could use is Aox Remember, is a good affinity. Uh, we have Tayrol, who's bad affinity for some of the heads. So, I mean, if you're like really scrapping together the champions, then Tayrol would be all right, because he's got attack down on the E1. And you really need the tap down from Raph, right? And you can target Raph. Um, you can also uh, bring in probably Marta as well. Or I can't really think of anyone else. But there's going to be a few, right? There's going to be a few. Uh, also, I suppose Lydia. No, Lydia doesn't have tap down. Yeah. I mean, I can't think who else you'd bring in there. But there's a few. For sure, there is a few. Umbro chances could be brought in for the block boss for the A2 and a Hexa sends it to like the four tens, right? So she could replace with anyone. Um, it's not so much with Lady Kimmy because Lady Kimmy needs to uh, strip and then pull it up. But um, Nork can do it. Um, uh, oh, you go Grim. Uh, who else? Uh, anyone? Yeah, you go Grim. I mean, Norg, who else? I suppose I've seen one or two people use Gert Tuck. That's the legendaries. Um, going back to the Strip Champion, if you don't have a block buffs, then maybe go with Strip Champion. And I can't remember what her name is, but Ryo, the Conjurer or something like that. She's from, she's an epic. I will name it down in the comments, but she's basically an epic from... Uh, Hydra Seeker Rooms, okay, so she has a strip on the A2, also has a revive on the A3, and she puts the AoE weaken up, if you don't have a, any one of the block buffs. Anyone shields here, Chris does his job nicely, uh, who else we got, we've got, um, I suppose if you can't bring shields, then you bring someone with healing, maybe uh, Salad could work here, brings a lot of continuous heal. Maybe, um, maybe even someone like Bad Bad Owl or someone like that. Someone that brings heal. Valkyrie would be the second choice, and Valkyrie is probably the best choice because she brings the counter attack up. I've seen people run Brogni and Valkyrie, but I don't feel that this is the best utility because you lose a spot of someone else in this team trying to bring both along. And I also feel you get more chemistry if you separate both of them for your two keys, if you have the two key. Uh, Samuel can, is like, he's like the best one. You don't have to keep worrying about Tormund then. And if Tormund keeps popping up, you're in heaven, right? If Tormund doesn't pop up, you're in trouble then. Uh, Rich Draft is a replacement for Samuel because she brings Veils, Duchess and... Uh, the future champion for Christmas as well, which a lot of people have. Um, I think that's pretty sure. I uh, pretty much that's about it. I am gonna work on the speed tunings and stuff like that, and try lower the speeds over the next couple of weeks with this rotation. Hopefully, we'll get it out to you guys next week or the week after, um, and see if we can work on lowering speeds and the damage for the one key. For for sure, the, the two key is solid. Uh, I do recommend this team. Just be careful of Head of K. If you see Head of K, reset. 
go again. Unless you're at the 10 mil and you want the 2 key, you have the champions for the 2 key and go for it. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please let me down in comments below if you enjoy this video and stuff like that. I know Hydra is not enjoyable content at the moment, but we do need to try and do our best. And I feel this is the easy way to try and get that. Um, yeah, and I'll probably see you again next week on another video. Um, and if you are want a bit more in detail about this video, go to my Twitch channel, Grim Reaper TV Raids. I'll put the link below as well. In the comments and you can see this for me testing this throughout the whole six seven hours lots of swearing so i do uh hope you don't mind the swearing too much and stuff like that uh until then i'll see you on the next video please remember to comment like and subscribe to my channel which helps supports me in future content
Okay, so again, I'm just going to go over the replacements in this comp with this team and I'm going to break it down more. Geo's the only one that can't be replaced. For the wanky team, you will need the Samuel. And I do feel the other team can also wanky if you have perfect RNG and that means the head of decay doesn't come up at all. We also need to bear in mind this is a survivability comp, not a high damage comp with like a royal guards and husk and stuff like that so we're going to talk about replacements quickly if i miss anyone down uh, anyone within these type of replacements please let me down know in comments down below and also let me out on your ideas with this comp i do feel that this is a solid comp at the moment there's a lot of rng within this comp um but yeah let's get into it so God Seekinori can be replaced with obviously the highest, the best version would be Krisk, who is in my main team. I only have one Krisk, so I can't really show that off. Uh, God Seekinori for me is number two, and then you got Sandlash Survivor at number three. I can't really think with anyone else off the top of my head, um, but there is a couple replacements as well. So we mainly use it Madam for their tap down, right? But she does bring that strip as well which I personally myself I like but the other options you could use is Aox Remember is a good affinity uh, we have Tayrol who's bad affinity for some of the heads so I mean if you're like really scrapping together the champions then Tayrol would be alright because he's got a tap down on the E1 and you really need the tap down from Wrath right and you can target Wrath um, you can also uh, bring in probably Marta as well or I can't really think of anyone else but there's gonna be a few right there's gonna be a few uh, also I suppose Lydia no Lydia doesn't have tat down yeah I mean I can't think who else you'd bring in there but there's a few for sure there is a few Umbro chances could be brought in for the block boss for the A2 and a hexa sends it to like the four tens right so she could replace with anyone um it's not so much with Lady Kimmy because Lady Kimmy needs to uh, strip and then pull it up but um, Nork can do it um, uh, uh, you go Grim uh, who else uh, anyone yeah you go Grim I mean Nork who else I suppose I've seen one or two people use Gert Tuck that's the legendaries um, Going back to the strip champion, if you don't have a block buffs, then maybe go with strip champion. And I can't remember what her name is, but Rio the Conjurer or something like that. She's from, she's an epic. I will name it down in the comments, but she's basically an epic from uh, Hydra Seeker Rooms. Okay, so she has a strip on the A2, also has a revive on the A3, and she puts the AoE weaken up. If you don't have a any one of the block buffs. Anyone shields here? Chris does his job nicely. Uh, who else we got? We've got. Um, I suppose if you can't bring shields, then you bring someone with healing. Maybe uh, salad could work here. Brings a lot of continuous heal. Maybe um, maybe even someone like Bad Bad Owl or someone like that. Someone that brings heal. Valkyrie would be a second choice, and Valkyrie is probably the best choice. Because she brings the counter attack up. I've seen people run Brogni and Valkyrie. But I don't feel that this is the best utility. Because you lose a spot of someone else in this team. Trying to bring both along. And I also feel you get more chemistry if you separate both of them. For your two keys if you have the two key. Uh, Samuel can is like. He's like the best one. You don't have to keep worrying about Tormund then. And if Tormund keeps popping up, you're in heaven, right? If Tormund doesn't pop up, you're in trouble then. Uh, Rich Draft is a replacement for Samuel because she brings Veils, Duchess, and uh, the future champion from Christmas as well, which a lot of people have. Um, I think that's pretty sure. I uh, pretty much that's about it. I am gonna work on the speed tunings and stuff like that, and try lower the speeds over the next couple of weeks with this rotation. Hopefully, we'll get that out to you guys next week or the week after, um, and see if we can work on lowering speeds and damage for the one key. For for sure, the, the two key is solid. Uh, I do recommend this team. Just be careful of head decay. If you see head decay, reset. 
and go again. Unless you're at the 10 mil and you want the two key, you have the champions for the two key and go for it. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please let me down in comments below if you enjoyed this video and stuff like that. I know Hydra is not enjoyable content at the moment, but we do need to try and do our best. And I feel this is the easy way to try and get that. Um, yeah, and I'll probably see you again next week on another video. Um, and if you are want a bit more in detail about this video, go to my Twitch channel. Grim Reaper TV Raids. I'll put the link below as well in the comments. And you can see this through me testing this throughout the whole six, seven hours. Lots of swearing. So I do uh, hope you don't mind the swearing too much and stuff like that. Uh, until then, I'll see you on the next video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, which helps support me in future content.